everyone, it's Grocery Holiday. So we went to Walmart and somewhere new that I don't think I've ever vlogged a haul from before ever in my life. Let's start with Walmart though. So I did pick up one of these Altoy tin cans. This is for myself. Not going to be in that meal plan that if you click the join button below at 99 cents a month and above will access breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and snack for a family of six for one whole week. This, on the other hand, will be. This was a new flavor for us. It was smoked turkey with white and wild rice, and that sounded really good. And sometimes when it's just the girls and I at home, we'll do just two cans and just do, like, popcorn or something with it, just something like snacky food later whenever we're having, like, our movie Monday or something. I'm not guaranteeing that's when we do it, but sometimes we'll do that, and we'll just have, like, something snacky. So I only bought two cans. They, uh, and again, all of this is from a Walmart that's not a super center, only has four aisles of groceries. We also picked up one pack of ballpark buns because we found a pack of brats in our freezer, our stock up freezer, two boxes of the ultra soft Kleenex. My, all of my teen girls hate the lotion ones, the Kleenex that has lotion. So we got the ultra soft instead. <laughs> it doesn't have much, but that Walmart definitely has Hormel no, be no Bean Chili. And I actually do use this size can anyways, so yay! I went ahead and picked one of those up. One packet of the McCormick Fajita Seasoning. We have five of these uh, ramen cups. The shrimp, beef, another shrimp, hot and spicy chicken, and another fifth beef. The kids actually stacked all this on the table for me while I, Matt and I were talking after he got home from work. So that was really sweet of them. And so I'm kind of like just discovering some of this as I go. Also from uh, Walmart, we have, they only have one brand of pizza at this Walmart and it's on an end cap and it was Red Baron. So there's a four cheese and there's a Supreme. If I start having a large reaction while eating it, I'll just, I don't know, I'll eat a bowl of cereal or something. We still have some cereal left. We also have two Diet Cokes. We'll get to why in a minute because you guys know Matt doesn't drink Diet Coke. He drinks Coke Zero. Uh, and we also have two gallons of 2% milk. And now let's move on to the Ingalls portion. So we went to Ingalls. It's a store that I know is at least local to East Tennessee. There is one that's like half an hour from us. And then this one was the closest one to the Walmart I've been shopping at with... Um, now, I've been shopping at recently that also has the really cool Dollar Tree. I actually didn't buy any groceries at Dollar Tree today, so I'm not doing Dollar Tree. Uh, I'll explain more in a video tomorrow. But they had an Ingalls, and the Ingalls was actually cheaper than the Food City you normally see me share groceries from. And compared to the price of the Walmart that I used, the Walmart Supercenter, I usually go to. So we kind of just, I kind of went and was just trying to finish off what was on my shopping list to utilize the food from my stock up pantry, which again on the members only post, I do specify what I already had in my stock up pantry and then what you saw in the haul that went with those items. So that you see like both together and you kind of, that gives you a better idea of number one, how you can stock up a pantry and eat from it in the winter on a cheaper budget. And then number two, it also shows you the shopping list of what I bought. But yeah, so Laura Lynn is their brand, or one of their brands. So Laura Lynn soft taco shells, there's 10 of them in here. Also picked up the Laura Lynn baking powder. Now apparently Laura Lynn is the cheapest of their store brands. Apparently like there's multiple layers of store brands at some stores. Laura Lynn was their cheapest one, but there's just some stuff you can't really ruin. Like eggs, tortillas, baking powder. So I'm going to try their Laura Lynn. Now I did know that from last time I bought Ingle from Ingles years ago, their spices are ridiculously expensive and not my favorite quality. This is Sawyer's though. And even our food city carries this brand and it's not terrible, but I have no idea who that is. Probably Matt, but it is expensive. So I got this size thing of parsley flakes. It's not adjusting on the camera for some reason. That's the ginger. And those were the same cost. And then also we picked up some sage. Uh, I did go ahead and get two dozen eggs. This is one of their store brands, Pick Sweet. And this is a California steamable bag. We're gonna try it and see if it's with cracked pepper seasoning. Cracked pepper seasoning, oh, that's cool. I didn't even see that. I was just going for steamable vegetables. And I was trying to hurry because it was the last store of the day. Um, Homestyle coleslaw, that was seven bucks for that. I, seven dollars for coleslaw that much coleslaw just seems crazy ingles best we have picked up one thing of vanilla ice cream we also have one bag of the tyson honey barbecue chicken strips one bag of the tyson honey tenders and if you look right here you see two containers of mentos two coke zeros and two sprite zeros 
That's right, we have some science experiments coming up this week that will be in another video. But for now, thank you to all of our members for supporting this content and allowing us to continue making videos. And thank you to every single one of you for liking, watching, positive comments, and subscribing. And we will see you next time.